have the pleasure of speaking with Peter Causey from Silver Bullet Mines. How are you today, Peter? Very excited, very happy. Uh, it's a good day for the shareholders. Okay, well, we could use some good news out there, so go ahead and give us the good news. Well, this is the Silver Bullet Project in Arizona. Some members of the team have been working on it for 40 years, battling through $5 silver and forest fires and all kinds of natural disasters. And yesterday, we processed silver at our 100% owned mill. We are now in production. So yay for them. Well done. Well, I just finished doing an interview with Cam Curry over uh, Metals and Mining a Group, and yep. he was talking, he's very, uh, he's pointing his investors at precious metals, gold and precious metals. And we actually spoke about silver, and he said there's very few producers of silver. So there you go. We have a producer of silver here. Congratulations. And there seems to be a little bit more copper than we were expecting, which is a nice surprise to the upside. But the technical team knows how to deal with this and they're dealing with it. So right now they're processing low grade ore just to get all the different parts and components synchronized and working perfectly. Once that happens, we'll start processing high grade ore. But until then, we'll be producing a concentrate and some doré bars. And uh, according to the CEO, we already have interested parties interested in buying both the doré and the concentrate. So production equals revenue equals cash flow. So, Peter, that's wonderful news. What else? I mean, is there anything else after that? Or how fast will you be ramping up production? Do you have buyers? Well, we have up? buyers lined up for the uh, concentrate and the doré. It doesn't appear as though we're going to have a problem selling what we make. Uh, and that's our CEO taking care of that. And this is John's world. We just live in it. He's doing a wonderful job there. Um, the next step then would be to get the Idaho property into production. You and I have talked about that before, but hiring a contract miner to go in, take out a couple of thousand tons of the ore that we know is there, take it to a local mill, process it, and write us a check. It's a very low risk, effective form of mining. In Idaho, we have 120,000 tons of ore grading between 39 and 90 tons, according to the historical reports. So we've got a fair bit of work to do there. I would also like to congratulate you on being one of the most wonderful social media uh, players and professionals in our sector. If anybody out there would like more information on Silver Bullet, you just need to subscribe to your Twitter account and get the latest Silver Bullet feeds. We made a decision a couple of years ago to be as transparent as possible, the good and the bad. So when we've had setbacks, we've posted about it. You know, when uh, Long Beach lost our bin for 70 days, we didn't cover it up. We told people our bin's been lost. It's in the, the uh, harbor somewhere. We just don't know where. 70 days later, they found it. We told people what was happening. When we've encountered delays, we've told people what's happening and why. And when the good things have happened, we've disclosed that as well. We have a very highly engaged shareholder base, which I like. Um, and judging by the number of emails and phone calls I've had today, they're very aware of what we're doing. Well, I think because we're so delighted by your news, would you like to comment about how silver might actually uh, be perceived in the, in the market here moving forward in the next couple of months? Because I know there's a lot of unrest out there. Sure. Um, a lot of people talk about the gold-silver ratio. You've heard me poo-poo all over that. If everybody knows about the gold-silver ratio, then you're actually trading against other people's perceptions of the ratio, not the ratio itself, much like the odds in Vegas. As for the macros for silver, I have no idea, and I don't really care. I know what my internal costs are to produce, uh, roughly. I know where we need to have silver to make uh, to be profitable and have positive cash flow. So the large arguments for silver, don't care about. We're in production. Well, again, congratulations. As soon as I get off the telephone, I plan on calling David Morgan and letting him know or make sure he knows about your news release and tweeting about it myself. Congratulations to the team at Silver Bullet Mines. Thanks to John. Thanks to the Murphy family. It's a wonderful feeling. We're not chasing a vein. We're not trying to find the edge of a horizon. We're producing a precious metal.